The Flinders Street design competition is a vital first step in restoring and reviving one of Melbourne's most important and iconic buildings. What we want to do through this competition is harness the very best ideas from Victoria, Australia and indeed around the world as we look to revitalise, rebuild uh, this great building and to make sure we can take advantage of the other space around uh, Flinders Street, the Milk Dock area, the Banana Alley Vaults area that is somewhat of a missed opportunity at the moment in the heart of Melbourne. Melbourne and Victoria have a great legacy of magnificent buildings and a great quality of buildings through design competitions. And one of the reasons we're here, as Sue outlined, is that the State Library holds the original Ashworth and Fawcett drawings that won the competition uh, so many years ago and created that wonderful building that we love. I'm delighted to announce today that registrations for the competition are open as of this weekend. And I'm also delighted to announce today the jury that has been given the unenviable task of judging the competition. The government is absolutely delighted with the depth and range of qualifications and experience of the people who've volunteered to be part of the jury. I think this design competition will make sure that we preserve and protect all that we know and love about Flinders Street. The challenges are there to protect and preserve the heritage of that iconic building, to make sure that it is a bigger and better and more efficient uh, public transport train station, to make sure it integrates to the surrounds, to the Federation Square, over the river, protecting the river, over the river to South Bank, and also taking advantage of those unique opportunities in that area. So great challenges for the great minds of the best architects and best designers from around the world. I'm pleased to announce that we do have an absolutely outstanding jury that will be making the judgments about the designs that are submitted. And the chair of the jury will be Victorian government architect, Professor Geoffrey London. Professor London is a Victorian government architect having previously been the inaugural Western Australian Government Architect. He's also the Winthrop Professor for Architecture at the University of Western Australia and is a professorial fellow at the University of Melbourne. He's served on and chaired many architectural design award and, and competition juries and has been involved in the planning for the Flinders Street Station design competition since its inception. We've been fortunate to secure the services of internationally acclaimed urban planner, Carolyn Boss. Ms Boss is the founder of UN Studio, a global network of specialists in architecture, urban design and infrastructure operating in 17 countries. Urban planner Rob Adams has played a pivotal role in revitalising Melbourne in the last two decades. Professor Adams has shared and individually received over 110 state and national awards for design architecture and Rob Adams has a deep love and understanding of all that is what is the best about Melbourne and I'm sure he'll make a very very significant positive contribution to this jury. Restaurateur and television presenter George Calambaris is a name synonymous with good taste in Australia. George was voted one of the top 40 chefs of influence in the world and is an internationally successful restaurateur and owning six restaurants in Melbourne and one in Mykonos in Greece. And George will bring his own talent and skills to this jury. Lawyer and property infrastructure expert John Curtis is the head of Freehills Melbourne office and an international partner of the legal practice. He's worked extensively on large scale private infrastructure investment construction and engineering projects with a particular expertise in transport, water, power and other social infrastructure projects. And I'm sure John will bring a practical knowledge and a business eye to this competition. 
Award-winning Melbourne-based architect Cassandra Fay received considerable public attention with the completion in 2000 of the Newman House in St Kilda, along with the Heelsville Sanctuary Platypussery. So Cassandra brings a different and a broader view to the jury uh, and I'm sure her in insight and her views will be most welcome around the table. During the past 30 years, heritage architecture expert Peter Lovell has provided advice on a huge number of building projects including the Windsor Hotel, the Supreme Court Library and the UNESCO World Heritage listed uh, Royal Exhibition buildings. And Peter will bring to the table great understanding of the heritage and the history of Melbourne and surrounds and particularly the Flinders Street uh, complex. And finally, Gillian Miles is a Senior Public Service and Deputy Secretary Strategic for Transport Planning in the Department of Transport. And Jill will bring great uh, knowledge and skill about the transport needs of Melbourne and the need to cater for the growth in patronage on our train system through Flinders Street. So what we have is a diverse and very, very talented uh, group of people on this jury. And I think this jury, given its breadth of talent and its skill, says a lot about what the government sees and what the community sees is the importance of this competition. Everybody wants Flinders Street to continue to be an absolute icon of Melbourne. Everybody wants the Flinders Street that we know and love to be restored to its former glory, but to be developed further, taking advantage of the new opportunities and making sure that it can protect the heritage, deliver the transport needs for the state, but also uh, take advantage of this great opportunity to add further to the quality of life, the heritage and the history, and what Melbourne and Victoria is famous for in terms of being a great place to live and a great place that recognises our beautiful history and functionality in our city.